Oh, good morning. <laughs> April is Earth Month. The Mitchell Park Domes is hosting an event today focused on the little things you can do to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Brett Boganski joins us live from the Domes. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, Ben. If you're going to be working in the garden anytime soon, I think, Brittany, uh, this is something for you. You need to talk to these guys right here. And, of course, Zach and Kent, you guys designed something that really all gardeners should have in their garden. Show me, show me what you got here, guys. Well, basically, we have this uh, solar power irrigation unit that runs using the energy from the sun. And uh, it basically utilizes your rain barrel to the full potential. Um, throughout the day, we have hands-free hydration of your plants um, through slow drip irrigation. And uh, basically, we have this the solar power, uh, solar panel powers the pump in here, and uh, just runs, uh, just runs uh, water to your plants throughout the day. And you know, so when you leave for work in the morning, 95 degree day, and you're not going to be home to water your plants until 5 5 p.m. You know, this is slowly keeping your plants hydrated, you know, throughout the day, and you're not going to have to worry about. Uh, toiling in the sun after work to uh, keep the plants nice and healthy. So anytime it's sunny, even if it's just a little overcast, that thing runs and the pump will run anytime it's sunny. Anytime it's sunny. So when it's raining, it'll be cloudy anyway. You're not going to need the hydration. And uh, as soon as the sun comes out, uh, you're going to use your 55 gallons, uh, whatever size rain barrel you have, to keep your plants good to go. It's running a little bit right now because it's got it's uh, filled up a little bit. If you shine a light on, obviously the pump would be going just a little bit. But we'll have to come back to you in just a little bit. Of course, Stacy, we're always talking about saving money and being able to to really take advantage of that green way of living. A couple things that people want to take advantage of when it comes to saving a few dollars to make their home energy efficient. What would you tell them? I would tell them if you live in the city of Milwaukee to sign up with the Me Too program. Um, it's, a, it's specifically for people who live in the city of Milwaukee who are homeowners. And we help you by offering you energy, energy advocates such as myself to take you through the process. And also then we have um, energy experts, which are our consultants who do the assessment for you followed by participating contractors who will then make your improvements. And we make it affordable by offering low interest financing through Summit Credit Union. We also get, um, give you incentives from $1,000 to $3,000, $2,000 if you live um, in Milwaukee. But if anyone can take advantage of the focus on energy incentives, which are out there as well, and we'll help you do that. Yeah, quickly, Stacy, one quick tip that could help people right now where they could save money on their home right now. Switching out all of your light bulbs to compact fluorescent light bulbs or LED. There we go. Do you guys feel enlightened? I do. I'm feeling a little bit more green here. But you can get all those tips right here at the Mitchell Park Domes. Coming up on Wake Up, we got plenty more where we could have a green way of life. Come on, on up. Did you mean to say that, Brett? You said it has to be enlightened, and you were talking about light bulbs. <laughs> I didn't realize that until you brought it that up. That was oh, nice. Funny. Well done. Right? It was. It, it just. It just worked out that way. <laughs> Sometimes things. <laughs>